Okay, so this is the HP X360 Haswell HD4400 i7. What I'm going to do today is to wipe out the whole one terabyte. So it's also, you can use it to set it up on a new hard drive if you have one. What we need is the Windows 10 USB boot. So download from the Microsoft and use the latest one. Okay, so we're going to turn it on and hit F9. So we're going to use the USB, that is Windows 10. So make sure that your laptop is UEFI. So the window will come up and let's do next, install now custom. Now inside here I happen to have many partition. We're going to delete it all just like we have a brand new one. So we have the whole 931 gig. What we want to do is we need to create a partition for UEFI EFI folder first, okay? Let's do repair your computer and troubleshoot. We're gonna do is called command.prom. So the first okay. thing we want to do is to do this part. And then we will see this zero is 931 gig. So we're gonna select this zero. So next we want to type clean to clean it and type convert GPT. So we're going to type create partition EFI size equal to 500. So we're going to set it the EFI folder to 500 uh, megabytes. So next we want to format quick FS equal FAT32 label equal EFI. Okay so gonna, we're going to create a partition MSR size 128 megabyte. So now, okay, so now we're going to turn off the PC and turn it back on. Okay, we're going to reboot, turn it back on, and hit F9. Okay, so we hit F9 again and boot to the USB Windows 10, and we're going to reinstall the window just like normal. Since we already have the EFI folder created and MSR partition. So we're going to select the custom install and everything's already set. Alright, just wait. Okay, so what we're going to do now is to go to control panel. I actually use the window 8 Point one because Windows 10 seems to have too much problem. So we're going to go to computer management and we'll go to storage. So this one right here I have 930 gig. So what I want to do is to shrink a volume for my Mac. So the maximum I can do it is 476. If I want more than this, I have to use it's called a mini partition. So I want to use mini partition because I want more Mac Catalina than the Windows. Okay, so the name is actually mini tool partition wizard. So you don't want to add additional software. I'm not sure why I use I download Shadow Maker, but actually I only need the uh, mini tool partition. So let's do the partition. This in my partition management. So what I want to do is this one right here to split partition. So right now it's 477. I actually want to do it. 600 for my uh, my E which is the 
Mac. Okay. Click OK. So now we're going to click Apply. So we close all the applications. So we're going to have to. So we're using Clover 5109 and the Catalina is the newest version 15.4 and this one right here is Windows. I'm not going to use Windows so much so I use Windows 8.1 which is originally come with this laptop. So let's do Windows. Okay, this is more like a dual boot. So we're going to restart. So it's automatically boot into Clover UEFI. So 5109. And it will default Catalina 154. It's automatic boot in 5 seconds. There you go. Dual boot. Windows 8.1 or 10 or whatever you want. And Catalina. 15.4